cool uh, Stain Killer Productions material right here. That's right. Me and Steve. Yeah, Steve Price was in there too. It's from like, what, four or five years ago? Yeah, about five years Back ago. before I started doing vlog videos, this car was on there. And it was doing like basically wheelies on the road. Yeah, doing wheelies in the street. And this bar is so high because Chris's head is so tall in there. <laughs> So the bar has to be higher than the head. It looked pretty good with 600 pounds of flesh. In there. Yeah, it did. It did. This is old school though. When was this car built originally? So my dad got it in '72, and uh, he painted it uh, the candy apple red in '78, I believe it is. Put and the it's, mouse and on. that's the paint it's from '78. The paint from 1978. Wow. So the wheels. The front wheels are from 74. Yeah, those, those are definitely some classic characters yes. right there. Oh, that's right. better. <laughs> so how car guys meet people, this is how I met this guy. I sold him those rear tires. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> off, off your Camaro? Uh, I sold him those tires off my Camaro back in what, 05? No. Ten. Well, I don't know. Let me do the... Nine. Yeah, those are 10 years old yeah, at least. Definitely. Those are ten. Those hey, are for sale, it probably though. feels faster with those on there. I'll probably smoke them because they're hard. Uh, it likes to stick. It does. It will use the bars. It's got wooden tail lights. Yeah. Wood dash. Dad made wood these dash. on a lathe. Your dad made those. They, ma he made the dash. Yeah. Oh. Steering wheel, all of that. So, so this thing right here probably oh, cruise. Notice this. You'll appreciate this right here. We're gonna make some hits later. Oh, on. it's got the draggy in there. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be video later. So, so this car probably cruised Nolan back whenever Nolan was. Seventies, eighties, nineties. Oh 2000s, man! And it's called the Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse T bucket. Mighty Mouse T bucket. Oh, that's awesome. It's good now, to see it back out. Had a four seventy one on it before. I mean, I mean, Chris, I think we got to fire it up. <laughs> I think we got to start it up and. Hell yeah. I think we got it here a little bit. I think it needs to rev it too. Everybody else is revving it. Yeah. Don't rev it like hey, a it bitch. Hey, it starts either. great. <laughs> <laughs> starts great. Yeah. That's the way it always has. This solid roller, aluminum head, TFS twisted wedge heads, uh, solid roller cam. So this car back in the day was fast. Listen, it went 1031 at 131. 1978. Oh my gosh, that'd be like a seven second car now. Yeah. Well, it's faster now by quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Chris, unleash those bald eagles. Yeah, I'll give her. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Hear that blower one. It's like we're in Australia. Hell yeah, brother. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. All right, got the C5 done. Uh, waiting on the converter, though, so I would say it's done, but it's not all the way done. But it does run. Tim here put a Nettlebrock 2650 on a, what is this, 2015 Mustang, Curtis? 2016 Mustang. And he's even putting the little uh, covers that go yeah. on the side. We've never put those on yet. I like it like... I do too. I like it like that. But, you know, he wanted the covers. We're putting the covers. Bottoms. This is a stage one kit. So basically, it's got a step down, step down restrictor plates, we call them. <laughs> if you put the actual size on there, it's it opens this thing up quite a bit. It's got stock fuel system. It does come with an extra pump or a bigger pump that we have to put in the stock tank. But yeah, this is the base Edelbrock 2650 kit on a Mustang. We're going to do a Lund tune. You got the engine out of this white Camaro here. Um, cylinder one had hardly any compression in it. So, uh, we're actually working on it now. Don't really see anything too crazy with it yet, but we haven't torn down the motor. So that's going to be next. Curtis is putting the final touches on this turbo Mustang, which we've been driving and putting miles on, making sure it's good. Uh, now we're going to make thinks I don't do nothing. Oh, who, whoever said that, whoever said that. <laughs> So Curtis has got his uh, country club shorts on today. He's looking real nice, actually. Um, but he is putting all like those uh, the push lock, uh, you know, vacuum nylon, lines. yeah, vacuum lines, the plastic line in there instead of getting all this rubber line out. 
It's kind of making it look nice. We're putting a vacuum block on right now. Pretty much, this Mustang is ready to rip, minus a boost controller, waiting on a boost lease boost controller for it. And uh, it'll be ready to go, but we did get it cleaned up. Does look good, I must say. I do like the wheels with the red beadlock ring. Looks cool. It's like an anodized red beadlock ring. Those are the 18 inch front runners there. They look pretty damn sweet. Got Nemo chilling over here. Nemo had a weekend full of highway poles. Waiting on a converter for this SS. A little walk through here. Of course, got the C7 waiting on mints or shocks so we can take it back. Oh, we also got a new splitter. As you can see there, we had a little boo boo. So we got a new splitter for it. Easy, easy fix. We got the charger done though. And it is amazing. Fire this thing up. Daddy's home here. All right, so a couple things. Full ported Joker's blower. Snout, 272 upper, 10% lower. It's got the VMP 105 throttle body. Complete four fuel system in there. The regulator and all that's hidden back in there so you can't see. All you can see is the fuel rails. Um, it's got some mid pipes on it, change the spark plugs, thermostat. I mean, it's a pretty simple combo. Got a UPR catch can right there. Carlisle racing uh, cold air intake. I mean, it's a really, really simple combo on this car, and it freaking runs for how heavy this thing is. You guys want to go for a drive? Let's go for a drive right now. I already did some uh, 60 to 130s on the draggy. Um, 554 was as fast as I could get to go. And that is on these 20 inch wheels. 554, 60 to 130 in this big old car is very, very respectable. Just to put that in perspective, the ZL1 Nemo, and Nemo's fast from 60 to 130. Nemo, Nemo goes 50. Um, on the 20 inch wheels and it goes 489 on the drag setup so big difference just change the wheels so I wonder what this would do with like say a drag setup on it I don't know it'd be much better but this thing's so dang heavy anyways we're gonna go over here hit the SRT button we're gonna put it in sport mode and then track that way it kind of gives us a little bit of traction you could say very good throttle response with that bigger throttle body and intake on there justin hasn't fully uh put this thing on the dyno and tuned yet we've just done some street logs and made sure the air fuel was good the timing's good and everything else today um so everything does appear to be really good on it um hopefully we can put this thing on the dyno tomorrow sometime Let's see if you can hear the blower a little bit more with the window down <laughs> it's just so crazy Oh, 
there's killer performance over there. The Nittos do unbelievable on this car too. It's got those brand new uh, 555R2s on it. 305, 3520s. And they do excellent. As you can see there, I mean, that was just flooring it. And they straight up just hook. I mean, I mean it does great. He says you can't roll race a freaking Hellcat. You're out of your mind. These things are unbelievable. Blower wine is real. Holy smokes. I think it may be even worse than the Trackhawk. I still got the factory shift points in it too. I, I'm not really gonna mess with them until we uh, see how much power it's making. I really don't wanna go much past 6,200 if it's making over you know, 930, 940 the tire. Um, right now it's making about 19 point, eh, 19 point five pounds of boost. A little bit below that, honestly. Uh, so it's pretty good boost, but really happy with the way it runs. As you can see right now, just cruising it, drives like a stock Hellcat. That's the best part about these cars, honestly, is you don't even have to crack a valve cover open to make a lot of power, but the problem is they just weigh so damn much. We'll see what it does. Still hooks. <laughs> Those tires are freaking awesome for a 20 inch tire. A drag radial that you can drive in the rain at that. These do just as good as those uh, Mickey Thompsons that I had on the red eye. Those big 315, 50, 17s, ET Street R's. They do just as good. I am not exaggerating one bit either. They do just as good as those tires. It's crazy. Damn, trickle looking good in the sunlight. Damn, the car's incredible. Trickle beat a damn Ferrari four five. What is it a four five eight? I don't know. Beats some Ferrari, and then Trickle goes and beats an A ten ZL one on the highway the other day too. So Trickle is a runner. See there, it's got the. Oh, where's the size? There they are. Three hundred five thirty five twenty. Five 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 twos. It uh, it actually performs pretty dang well on the twenty inch wheels, which was kind of what I was going for. The next thing I'm gonna be doing this thing is getting rid of the red calipers because I absolutely hate them. Uh, but other than that, this thing's pretty much done with uh, what I'm gonna be doing with it, and uh, it's ready to rip. I stole this throttle body off the general because the. I couldn't wait for the new one to come in and we needed to get it tuned, so that's off the general. However, VMP sent me one of their updated ones. This one's actually nice and fits the general a little bit better. It's kind of like a, a gun metal color and it says VMP right on the top, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, I had to steal the clamp as well, so I need to get a new clamp for the general, but general is back together and well, I think we're gonna be racing the general this weekend at a no prep race so that'll be cool got the general here in the garage and uh we are gonna be no prep racing this thing tomorrow at the joe hunt race up at i-29 dragway uh up near omaha nebraska first things first we gotta take off the street wheels and put on the nitto drag radials and uh yeah that's basically all we gotta do to prep this thing for racing right now Still got the stock axles and drive shaft in it, but I think it'll be all right if we're on a no prep surface. It won't be as uh, much of a hit off the line, so we should be good. It should be a lot like uh, just doing dig races on the street. I think we're gonna run the 650 index class, which last time we ran this thing on the street, it went 640 in the eighth. So I think we should be right there for that class. All right, got the drag radials on. We're gonna go make some uh, test launches right now. Make sure it's good. Got the general all cleaned up and ready to go for the Joe Hunt race tomorrow at I-29 Dragway. Uh, got the drag radials on. 
Yeah, the general's looking, looking good. We'll see what it does. Just went 657 at 110 in the eighth on the street with a 167 60 foot. So that's a good start for that 650 index class tomorrow. I feel like it gives us a little bit of wiggle room. I do feel like it'll do a low one five, high one four, 60 foot on no prep track. So I think we'll be in good shape. trailer but we got out water like months ago not that long ago yeah it's a uh, it's slick perfect for a jeep track hawk racing it's like it's like a bowling alley out here So we got our pairings and uh, it was completely random draw poker chips and we actually drew someone that we came here with and it's another SUV. How about that? Cool. It's got the Escalade. We'll go check out. This is the this is what we're racing in the Trackhawk first round. This freaking mid nine second Escalade makes like 1200 horsepower of the tire. It's all wheel drive just like the Trackhawk. He's on a Hoosier. We got our work cut out for us, boys and girls. But the good thing is he can't go faster than that 650. It's an instant green. I just got to go faster than him off the light. Hopefully I can do that, have a better reaction, and uh, we should be good. Mitchell, how are you feeling about racing the general first round? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good? Yeah, did some testing last night. Did some testing. Uh, how do you feel about instant green lights? I like it. You like the instant green? Yeah. Okay. Up the bracket racers. Are you going to be using a trans brake? No. no, just leaving off boost because it does way faster than 650 normally. Yeah. So you're trying to slow it down. Okay, okay. Well, hey, what better race than to have the two SUVs race each other first round? Yeah. It'd be cool if it happened a little later, but. Please. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but hey, we get eliminated. I'm going back to Kansas City and we're going to do some Nolan Road cruising. We got Chase's uh, Mustang out here chase is racing the charger and the mustang both but isn't dugan driving one of them the yeah. yeah dugan that owns shelby killer performance he's actually going to be racing uh, chase's charger chase is going to concentrate on getting this thing down the track actually made a pretty good lick in that thing last night 6 30 in the eighth here on the snow prep surface for that big heavy car is excellent um and then i'm not sure what the mustang ran i think it was like a mid five in the eighth but this this surface out here today is really really sketchy 
Yeah. Hey, Dugan, who, who do you got between the Escalade and the General first round? You know, I think in the beginning it's going to be close. I know. I think, it's, I think it's going to be very, very close. Yeah, but he's going to have some mile an hour coming We can't go faster than 650, though. That's that's key. Well, you're uh, <laughs> going up early, early on the bracket, right? Yeah. We are heading up to the lanes right now for the first round of the 650 Index class. We're going to be racing Mitchell with the Escalade. Should be a good race for the first round. <laughs> As you see, sounds pretty healthy. I'm definitely outpowered. I got a little bit of weight advantage on, not much though. It has been a 950 or a 940 before the Escalade has. I haven't ran this yet. I would assume it'd probably go like a 10.0 uh, in the quarter, if I were to guess. Uh, yeah, so this will be good. We cannot go faster than 650 though. It is a 650 index. It is an instant green light, so you have to go right whenever that light hits. We don't know when it's gonna hit, so that's what's crazy. So we squeezed the wind out of the Escalade on that one. It looked like uh, something happened with Mitchell's Escalade at the very top end of the track. It just shut down. He was about a half a car length in front of me though. I got out on him, he tried to reel me back in, he did, and then it just let up at the big end. Did you win? We won, Brad. I won. Yeah. Hell yeah. Beat the Escalade. Heck yeah. Good, good. <laughs> on to the next round. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, nice job. Oh, what the heck happened out there? I broke it. You broke it. Broke it again? Yeah. I think the transfer case went out. The general's a savage. It, it was probably talking shit on the line to your Escalade. The Escalade wasn't happening. Yeah. That makes sense. It locked up. Yeah, it locked up. But when I was turning, it wasn't binding up like it does in four-wheel drive. And I can still feel the transmission shifting. When I started to roll slower, it just... like. Well, I got out on you, and then you went by me about halfway through. And then I seen your nose dip. I'm like, oh, you let out too early. And I go right by him. <laughs> Too soon! Well, letting out was not intentional. Yeah. Down almost 20 miles an hour on that. Went oh, 684. He went 640 at 91. Mile an hour. 108. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a pretty good one. Oh, well. If it isn't off pretty early? Me? Oh, I didn't let out at all. That's perfect. All the way down through. I don't like letting out. Yeah, I don't either. I like just staying in, yeah. Yeah, when I seen you, I didn't know. I thought you, like, let out. I'm like, go figure. Watch my ass went too fast. Yeah. I was getting ready to hit the brakes and then it went. Yeah. No, I, I I really thought you hit the brakes. I thought I was really hoping that I still beat you by coasting. Yeah. But I didn't. Oh well, that was a good race. Yeah, it was.
give him a round of applause right there. Okay, so um, we made it past the first round and we are going into second round and it started to get super violent windy out here and looks like it's gonna start raining. So we pulled the Jeep back in the trailer and uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't start raining because if it does, it, the race is just gonna be over for tonight and probably the weekend, probably the event period. So, um, but yeah, we're just waiting on them to uh, see what they're gonna do, waiting on to see what the weather's gonna do, but it doesn't look good what's coming at us. So we went ahead and planned ahead, got the Jeep in the trailer. I guess we'll just kind of sit and wait it out, see what happens. Okay, well, we decided to go ahead and just load up. It looked like a huge storm was coming in and I did not want to get stuck in that track uh, when it started to rain. It was just full of mud. Um, so yeah, we went ahead and loaded up the General and uh, now we are on our way back to Kansas City. Even though we are still in the race, we won first round against the Escalade. Um, I just don't see, yeah, it was gonna be probably another two hours before they got to our class again. We're in the last of the run order and there's a lot of cars there. Um, so I just, I think we had just been wasting our time if we sat there and uh, waited for it to start raining and looking at the radar. So I bit the bullet, decided to uh, call it a day and uh, now we're heading back to Kansas City. We do have streetcar takeover Oklahoma City next weekend. So we'll get plenty more racing in, but that's it guys.